Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 free tweaks in Cydia. So to kick things off, we first have Bigify. Now with Bigify, it allows you to adjust how the icons look on your home screen here. So if you go into your settings and then select Bigify, you'll see that you have a couple of options to customize. So I can adjust the rotation angle here of the icons if I slide this, or I can adjust the transparency of the icons. I can even hide icon labels. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And you have a few other options down here, such as flipping the badges or um, even affecting the icons within the dock. So to get these changes to apply, you do have to respring by selecting apply changes down here. Your device will then respring and then you'll see the changes take effect. So you'll notice now if I slide to unlock and we take a look at my icons, they're a little skewed up here. So now they're at angles and everything like that. It's flipped over. It's just more so a visual enhancement than anything else. Now the second tweak I have for all of you is blurred. Now this will let you change the color of the keyboards. So you'll notice with the iOS 7 theme you have a light keyboard and if for whatever reason you do not like that light keyboard, you can enable this particular tweak here to give you a darker keyboard. So I'm gonna just jump into the notes app and I'm gonna start typing and you'll see that my keyboard down here is dark instead of light as it typically is with the iOS 7 theme. So if I go back into my settings and I turn this option off here and, and I open up a new note you'll see that the keyboard is now white so it's a tweak that you can turn off and on you do not need to respring in order for the changes to take effect but that's all blur does so the next tweak I have for all of you is blur bar and blur bar just alters the look of your status bar up here at the top so if I hop into my settings I have a few customization options, one including to change the amount that the blur takes um, up here in the dock, as well as the size of it, the opacity, and the tint. So if I go here, mine is currently set to green. However, I can change it to any of these colors, and you do need to respring in order for these changes to take effect. So you'll notice there are not any respring options here. But that brings me to my next tweak that I have for all of you. And that tweak is Easy Respring. And what it does is within your settings, it gives you an Easy Respring option so that you can click on it and select to do a UI Cache Plus Respring or just a simple Respring. And then it also goes to tell you the difference between the two by telling you what a UI Cache Respring is. So that's Easy Respring. Now another tweak that I'm currently enjoying is CC Controls. And this one lets you change the icons that typically show up in Control Center. So you'll notice that I now have a respring icon here, so I can just tap that and my device would respring. You have a couple of other ones you can choose from in addition to being able to swipe up here to access more controls. So you can see I have all of those. And you can also change how many icons appear right in this area. So I'm gonna just hop into my settings to show you this. Now with CC controls, you have a few options. One being you can customize the theme of it. So you can change how it looks. So I'm gonna just click on this one just for demonstration purposes. You can also change the lock screen restrictions so you can decide which ones you do want to show up or rather which ones you do not want to show up within your lock screen by putting a check beside it. Or you can hop out here and choose the order of the icons that you want within Control Center as well as disable one of the icons. So say for instance, I never really access rotation lock from my Control Center. I can just slide it down here. And once it's down here, it will not appear within my Control Center when I swipe up from the bottom of my screen. You can also rearrange them by holding down on this area here and just kind of dragging it where you want it to go so it'll rearrange the order of the icons. And the changes do take effect immediately because you'll see once I slide up here now, you'll see that my theme has changed in addition to the arrangement of my icons. So that is CC Controls. It's a very nice tweak that I think everyone should download to really take full advantage of Control Center the way they want to. Another nice tweak is CC Hide. Now with this one, this lets you hide certain sections that typically appear within Control Center. So for instance, if you never use the airdrop section, you can turn that off or you can turn off the media control section, the brightness section, whatever you don't use, you can flip that toggle and go ahead and turn it off. You also can make the media control conditional, meaning you can hide the media control section when you're not playing anything. So that way, if nothing's playing, it's not sitting there being idle, you know, showing the play icon. It's only going to be visible if you're playing music. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that option on. And now if I jump out to my home screen and slide up, you'll see that my control center looks drastically different. It even kind of changed the circular icons because it's made it now so much smaller. So that is CC Hot. It lets you take customizing your control center that much more farther. Moving right along, we have Fave. 
This will take advantage of what used to be the spotlight function. So you know with iOS 6, you would slide to the right to access your spotlight, but now you slide down from the bottom of your screen to access spotlight. Basically what Fave does is it gives you a favorite icon where you would normally access spotlight in iOS 6, which is to slide from the right of the screen here. And you'll see there, it kind of gave you a sneak preview of what application that was, which is my calculator. So I'm gonna do that again for my home screen. I can just slide here to the right and it will launch whatever application I so choose. And that can be chosen from within your settings. So these are the options for Fave. You can turn the tweak off or on. You can choose which application that you want over there. Um, in addition to that, you can also change the view preferences if you want it to show an app icon or an app snapshot. So those are all the options for Fave, and that pretty much sums that one up. Next, I have Side Delete 7. This will let you delete Cydia tweaks from your home screen, so you don't have to launch Cydia any longer to get in there and delete any apps that you have icons for on your home screen. So say, for instance, these are all Cydia apps here. If I hold down on one of them and they get into wiggle mode, normally you wouldn't see that little X up there to delete the app off of your phone. So now that I have Side Delete 7, I can delete the application from my device by just tapping the X and instead of having to open up Cydia to do so. But I want all of those applications, so I'm not gonna demo that right now. So next we have a tweak called Musical Switcher. Now this one doesn't really do anything at all other than kind of add a nice effect to your multitask switcher, which is to basically turn it into a piano. So you'll notice if I slide down on these cards here, it'll play a musical note. And that's really all it does. Now you can slide down on more than one of these to play a chord. So I'm going to slide down on these two. And it'll play a chord. But honestly, that is really all this tweak does. It's not very functional, I guess, but more so something for entertaining purposes or to kind of show off to everyone what a jailbreak can do to your device. And lastly, we have Home Screen Designer. Now this one is very similar to Iconoclasm and Layout Maker if you're familiar with that from the previous jailbreak. But in essence what it does is it lets you change the layout of your icons on your home screen. So as you can see I have my icons laid out as so. However if I go into this particular application it'll let me choose different layouts for those icons. So this is just a welcome screen here. I'm going to get rid of that. This is just kind of going through what each thing does. So I'm not going to go through all of the options that you have within here, but from this screen here, you can customize the layout to be exactly the way you want it to be by selecting where you want your icons to be laid out at um, on this particular tab. However, if I go to this next tab here, this will show me all of my saved layouts. And if you don't feel like creating a layout, what you can do is go to the upload tab here and search for different uh, layouts that have been uploaded by other users. So I'm going to select the popular option here, and this will let you see different layouts. If you want to preview it, you can just tap on it. It'll show you how it looks here. And then if you want it, you can tap on it again, and it'll let you download it. However, I'm going to hit cancel there. But what I'm going to do is demo this layout here, which is the middle finger up. I kind of... I'm curious to see how this looks, but you can delete the layout, apply the layout, modify it, upload it, or rename it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the layout. So the cool thing about it is you do not even have to respring for the changes to take effect. But this is the middle finger up layout. The only real page that looks like the middle finger to me is this one. But let's choose another layout. So I'm going to try the centered ring here. I'm going to choose apply layout. I'm going to select the pages that I want that layout on and I'm going to stop there and now I'm going to hit save there and jump back to my home screen and you'll notice now my icons are in that ring layout. So the changes take effect immediately, which I love. That way you can take customizing your home screen to that next level and get your device exactly the way you want it. But that does sum everything up. I hope you all enjoyed this video and that these tweaks were some that you downloaded onto your device as well. If so, drop down below which ones you liked as well as which ones you did not like. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm going to be doing my best to get some more top 10 videos out, um, especially if I see that all of you like them and that you're watching them. But that's that's all. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.